way I'm feeling, I honestly do not see no competition. I gotta get it, so it ain't no quitting. We jumped off the benches and jumped in the trenches. No one is better than. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League comes to you from Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, Michigan. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Baltimore Ravens and the Detroit Lions. And wow, a gamble here right off the bat, an onside kick to begin the game. are able to cover this one up and he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45 yeah you got to wait until that ball goes 10 yards they did not they hit it before and that draws the flag every time and there's no doubt in my mind that converting an onside kick has never been tougher in the nfl with the new rules so trying to get it to 10 yards timing up perfectly that's tough enough to begin with but when you go ahead and grab it before it goes you've got no shot then Go off a handoff here to Swift. And yeah, maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25 yard line. They'll take that 14 yards on play number one. Well, there you go. This offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Yeah, with a big run and a first down. That's putting what you practice into play. That's excellent execution to get things started. Now go off on first down. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. On first and 10, it's Swift. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. If you're looking for glory, looking to get your name in the headlines, you do not want to play nose tackle. But how about what we just saw there? The ability to hold people up, take on extra blocks, and actually slip them and make a tackle on that play. That's big time. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Goff wants to throw on third and one. Flushed out right. Hammering for the goal line. He loses the football. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here. It's you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs. You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. 
He's got his man. It's Andrews. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. That's good for a Raven first down. 15 yards there. Off the play fake to Dobbins. Here's Jackson. He'll buy And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Aiden Hutchinson. Credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Now Jackson. And that's going to be caught. It's James Prochet. And he is going to lose yardage here. So they'll wind up losing five yards on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. They go play action now. Jackson. It's a gain of nine, but it's also going to be a punt here on their opening drive. Well, there were a couple of extra defensive backs in the game, so he really had nowhere to go with the football despite his search for an open receiver. So he has to take off and run for it, but he comes up well short of the line to gain. Fourth down, it's Jackson. Now a diving effort right sideline. He's got it. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. When you're a player of his stature, you don't just circle the games on your team's calendar. You circle, circle the Pro Bowl? <laughs> Without a doubt. That's a game that you just figure you're going to be in each and every year. That's because of catches like that. That's why he goes. Raven football here as we begin quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. They'll run for the first time with J.K. Dobbins. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. On the stop, it was Mike Hughes. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Jackson now. This one caught by his tight end, Andrews. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Jackson fighting his tight end Andrews for the Ravens first down. Now it's Jackson. That's into the hands of Prochet. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. You can see the time and effort and thought that they've put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. And he'll take it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On third down, here's Dobbins. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They get six on the pickup there as the drive continues. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half. Jackson on first down. That one complete to Prochet. Down inside the 10, and in for the Ravens' touchdown. James Prochet, 33 yards. And the Ravens post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Oh, and now they're gonna fake it. And it's caught inside the five, and he gets in. But no one was expecting a fake there, but they add two more onto their lead. Yeah. 
Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. From the 10. And he returns this to the 22. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, OK, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit if they're in the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. I'm looking at this with my defensive eyeglasses on because you remember the old days when a tight end saw a linebacker covering him and thought he had a mismatch? But the way they can run nowadays, not necessarily so. They gave it a shot downfield. That one incomplete. Here's Goff, eluding the pressure right. He's airing it out for Williams. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they're going to have to give up the football again after this one. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. And look at this, it's a fake. Oh, but this is going to backfire as it's intercepted. Picked off by Roquan Smith. And the Ravens are going to take possession of the football. So the fake punt, a daring call this deep in their own end. And the end result, certainly not what they were hoping for. I have to admit, I admire their daring. But I actually would like this play call better if it's between the 40s here. The problem is, even if the ball's not intercepted and it's just incomplete, you're still giving away half a field's worth of possession. Forced out to his left. And he's going to go down here as sack. They push him back to the 34. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. So second and long and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Another try after the first down sack. Jackson. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Jackson. And oh no, it's incomplete. Well, it's a touchdown if he holds on, but somehow took his eyes off of it, falls to the ground, and brings up fourth down. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Fourth down, here's Jackson. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. Fourth down, no problem. Just a ho-hum pickup of 14 to keep the offense on the field. So this offense able to convert on fourth, and now a fresh set of downs here, first and 10. To throw is Jackson. And this is going to be intercepted. 
Picked off by Mike Hughes. And the Lions are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. But turnovers, obviously, Charles, always costly. But, oh man, when you throw those interceptions in the end zone like that, it really stings. He tried to fit that one into his tight end, and I often use the expression NFL open, which means a tighter window. Down near the goal line, you really want him to be open. In this case, it cost him. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Goff now looking to throw. And that'll be caught. It's St. Brown. And he's got this all the way down to the five-yard line. A big play there just before halftime. 58 yards. Pretty good timing. He waited just enough for that post play to develop and laid it right in there. And you know what a lot of teams do when they decide to throw a post route? Because it's a little bit longer developing play. They match protect. Bring everyone in, keep the tight end in, an extra back to make sure the quarterback has time to deliver the football. They'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing a throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down, and don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. They'll run with Swift. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. DeAndre Swift as the first half is winding down. And the Lions are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Dan Campbell makes the call. His guys will go for two here. Goff looking to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. And he'll get in to tie this game at eight. Well, it's definitely early enough here. They didn't need to go for two. They didn't have to go for two, but hey, they did. We're all tied at eight. Is this one of those anything you can do, I can match? <laughs> yeah. Because that's exactly what we got on that one. Neither one of these teams wants to give any ground, do they? And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. A good passing down here, and they send three receivers to the right of the formation on second down. Final play of the half here. It's Jackson dancing to his left. The quick feet by Jackson. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. All even through one half of football as we get back underway in quarter number three. From his end zone, here comes Justice Hill. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles. So as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one. And we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the peewee level. They love to spend it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. Yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. That is definitely what we call on defense an uh-oh play. And what you mean by that is against Lamar Jackson, when you see him out of the pocket, your first thought is, uh-oh, he's going to try and run it. How do I get to him and get him on the ground? And guess what? 
That didn't happen, and his receivers took advantage. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. So the completion good for seven there, and it's second down. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. Aiden Hutchinson able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. From the gun, it's Jackson. And that is incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. This from 54 yards away. Tucker's kick is good, and they take the lead here now at 11 to eight. Well, they don't get a touchdown here in the opening drive of the third quarter, but I think maybe you still say mission accomplished as they come away with the lead. No, absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go downfield, get some points up on the board, and hope that you've motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. The risk-reward of the onside kick. When you don't get it, the risk comes out to play, and here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them, and field position leads you to that type of play calling. And whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage has switched to their opponent. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Here's Goff. That throw taken in by Jamison Williams. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Did you see that route the way that I did? I yep. thought he was trying to get deep Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not to, he came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. Swift going to try up the middle. And he's able to work free for about six down to the 18. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Right back to Swift again on second down. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. On the keeper, here's Goff. And I don't think he got there. No, they stop him right where it all started. So he gets absolutely nothing out of that sneak, and now it's fourth down. So here comes a very important kick now for Michael Badgley. And they're going to fake it. He wants to throw it here. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And the Ravens are going to get the football back. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Now Jackson taps his forward jet sweep. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35.
An ideal spot here to get a first down and try to run some more clock. And this is second and less than a yard. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Jackson looking to throw on third. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. They'll try and throw for it with Jackson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Play action. It's Jackson escaping the pressure right. He'll check this down to Dobbins out of the backfield. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. He was out there waving his arms. And when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Jackson from the shotgun. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. Here's second and nine. They'll run up the gut with Dobbins. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. After that run, still a good amount of meat on the bone here for this third down play. Can you envision them putting this in the air? Totally. I mean, look at who he has under center right now. If you can't trust him with the football, you can't trust anyone. And frankly, to me, I want the ball down the stretch. Get the first down, keep it in the hands of my offense. I don't want to turn it over to them and rely on my D. Move the chains, a gain of seven on third down. On first and 10, it's Dobbins. No gain on the play there, second down. He has just been completely taken out of this game. We're in the fourth quarter. He's single digits in the rushing department. And I know we look at him because the numbers do go to his production, but how about the guys blocking for him? They don't just have his number as a ball carrier. They've got the number of the offensive line and the other guys because they're getting to him before he can get started. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. Throwing now is Jackson. Steps away. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. They'll run with Dobbins. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Tucker with the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. From the 10. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Lions.
Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two-score game. Onside. He's got a man complete. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Rolling to his right. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And this one is incomplete. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. Now it's gone. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And the Ravens are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well, I mean, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here, maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. Meanwhile, Jackson's throw complete there to Bateman. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. So the final seconds tick away in this Baltimore victory. And it was their defense that really made the statement.